Hi, I'm Nurse Sion, and this is my review of um, my completion of the set of the six legendary soldiers. Okay, to begin with, I was actually lacking three of the six. The ones that I had were, I had Clayf, I already had Lars Lion, and I had Oberus. So I had to obtain Exedra, Apollinaire, and Frosh. To begin with, um, I'll start with Lars Lion and I'll just go over each character and kind of my thoughts on that character. First of all, Lars Lion, uh, she is a very spirited character and I've done a review on her before and I like that she has comparisons to the Polly Pocket world. Um, so she's very, she's very unique and interesting. The next one, Clay, is this character right here. This has to be probably one of my least favorite characters. I think it's pretty ugly, and uh, I, I just don't like it that much, marble or open. And uh, the only reason that I have this Clay is that Dumont and I were out. Uh, Bakugan hunting one time, and we happened to find two swaps of Clayf, and they were uh, the opposite of each other, so we got them, and I got this one, and I, I just don't like Clayf. <laughs> He's just ugly. Okay, and then um, I'll come over here to Oberus, because this is the third one that I actually already had. This particular character is very special to me, because um, of the six legendary soldiers, Oberus is supposed to be the most compassionate. And the concept of compassion, being compassionate, that's a very special concept to me. Um, it's a very important part of my life, and so this particular character holds a very special place. Okay, of the three that I did not have when I started uh, to kind of tally up the six legendary soldiers in my own collection, um, one of them that I did not have was Exedra, and thanks to Dumont, I was able to obtain Exedra. I actually traded uh, an Oberus, an Aquas Oberus, for this Ventus Exedra from Dumont, so that worked out well. Um, the next one is Frosh. Now, Frosh is a character that I think I would like to like a lot, but I haven't really uh, gotten there, this particular, the way this character is designed, it just doesn't really look like a frog to me, and I would like for it to maybe look more like a frog to, to be more accepting of it, but it's not a bad character, I do like things about it, and I do like that the, the legs here actually do, sort of, when it's sitting, it looks like, a, you know, it has a frog's sort of stance, but, um, it's just one that is kind of a, not a, a real true love for this character, but he's pretty cool. So that one um, I also got from Dumont. And then finally, Apollinaire. Apollinaire was one that I really thought that I had an Apollinaire when we started looking, but I actually didn't. I have a bunch of a bunch of dragons, but this one I apparently did not. So um, a friend, my friend Dumont, he had two, and so he gave one to me. And um, on this particular one, I, it's Pyrus. The paint job is really exquisite. You have the, the red base color and then the copper accents. Uh, it, it, it's actually a really, really, really nice combination. So if you're going to get an Apollinaire, I think uh, going for Pyrus actually is not a bad move. Um, so this has been my review on my collection of the six legendary soldiers, and I'm going to slam. How do you feel about it? How do I feel about completing the, the collection? Six. I'm happy about it. I think that, uh, you know, if there was one goal that I was going to have in life, it would be to complete the collection of the six legendary soldiers uh, in the Bakugan world. And so um, I'm actually going to be calling my parents after this and letting them know so that they can truly be proud of me. So again, this has been Nurse Ion, and this is my review of my collection of the six legendary Bakugan soldiers. Thanks for watching.